please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government or med scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 physics questionnaire for the undergraduate scholarships. The answer key and original questions are linked in the description. Problem 2 of Part 1 reads as follows. In Figure 1-2, Block A of mass M is released from rest at a height of H, slides along a frictionless slope, and then collides with stationary Block B of mass 3M. After the collision, Block A stops while Block B moves to the right. Find the coefficient of restitution between Block A and Block B. Just a review of some of the key concepts that we will need to solve this problem. First is the idea of relative speed. If we recall, the relative speed of an object is its speed with respect to another object. So for example, if we are in a train, we are inside the train and the train is moving, we and the train would have the same speed. So even if the train is moving, we will see that the things inside the train to be stationary because we are moving with the train and so are the things inside the train. In that case, we say that our relative speed with respect to the train is zero because we're all moving in the same direction. And that's why everything else looks stationary. That would have been different if we were outside the train and looking at the train as it passes through or passes by us. In that case, we are stationary and the train is moving at some speed. And so there is a difference in speeds there. And the relative speed, our relative speed with respect to the train would not be zero in that case. The way we compute relative speed is pretty straightforward. We just get the difference in the velocities and then we get the magnitude of that difference. That is the relative speed. Now we had to review relative speed because the problem asks us to compute the coefficient of restitution. We call it COR in this problem. And the coefficient of restitution is defined as the ratio of the relative speeds after and before the collision. So that means we'll need to find the speeds or rather the relative speeds after and the relative speeds before the collision. And one thing that is most or often useful when talking about collisions is the law of conservation of momentum. This is useful because it tells us the relationship of the speeds of the objects right before the collision and right after the collision. And more precisely, it states that if we have two objects of mass m1 and m2 and they are moving at v1 and v2, then the sum of their momenta would be the same before they collide. In this case, that is the sum on this on this side of the equation. And after they collide, that is the sum here at the right of the equation. So momentum is defined as the product of the mass of the object with its speed. In this case, velocity, velocity more precisely, it would have been velocity, but in this case, it, it is speed because we're just concerned with the magnitudes in this, in this problem. So this first term on the left is just the velocity times the mass. In other words, the momentum of the first object. And here is the momentum of the second object. And all these terms here are prior to the collision. Now, right after the collision, the, the velocity or the speed of the first object changes from V1 to V1 prime. So this is the new momentum right after a collision of the first object. And for the second object, this would have been the new momentum. And the conservation of momentum tells us that the sum of all the momentums 
prior to the collision would be equal to the sum of all the momentums after the collision. And in our problem, we only have two objects, so we will be using this form, but this is extendable to as many objects as we're interested. Now let's start computing for the coefficient of restitution that the problem is asking for. We need to find the relative speed before and after the collision. First, let's look at the relative speed before the collision. So let's call that relative speed V sub i. And here we made a drawing of the two objects. Here we have block A and here we have block B just right before the collision. So the problem is interested in the collision right before it and right after it. So we can ignore right now we can just ignore for the for the meantime the fact that a is in this location at the beginning so we, we don't even have to talk about what happens to a from this location to this location at the moment we just need to talk about what happens right before the collision and right after the collision so right before the collision the mass of block a is m its speed is v sub 1 so its momentum is just the product of that, and that's m v sub 1. And then the momentum of block B right before the collision is 0 because the problem states that it is stationary right before the collision. So its velocity or its speed is 0, even if its mass is 3m. So 3m times 0 is just 0. And so the relative speed right before the collision is just the difference that's v sub 1 minus 0 and you take the absolute value of that and you got and you get this this bit here so v sub 1 is just the absolute value of v sub or rather v sub i is just the absolute value of v sub 1 moving forward we now compute the relative speed right after the collision and let's call that relative speed v sub f. And again, we draw our blocks. This is again block A, and here is block B. And what changes are the following. The speed of block A would be zero because it says in the problem that block A stops right after the collision. And so its momentum would also be zero. For block B, it starts moving and so we assign it a velocity or a speed of v sub 2 prime and its momentum would be 3m v sub 2 prime that's just a product of the mass and the speed now we can compute the relative speed after the collision and that's just the difference right so v sub 2 prime minus 0 and we take the absolute value of that from this definition of the coefficient of restitution, we can say that the coefficient of restitution is just the ratio of this expression to this expression. And now we just need to know the relationship between this and this. And we already mentioned that the way we do that is through the law of conservation of momentum, because that law relates the speeds prior to the collision and right after the collision. So the law states that the sum of the momenta prior to the collision is equal to the sum of the momenta after the collision. So before the collision, the sum of the momentums is just mv sub 1 plus 0. And right after the collision, that's 0 plus 3m v sub 2 prime. If you write that down, it will look like this. And we can easily rearrange this to give us this. And it says, so what we did there is just, is just we divided it with, we divided it by m, both sides. And we saw that we can divide both sides by v sub 1. 
and then we take the absolute value and we see that that ratio that we're looking for is one third. Therefore, this is the answer to the problem. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya!